Hello friends, Iceberg with Dylan Brothers, Harley Davidson, and today I'm going to take you through a quick walkthrough of the brand new Boom Audio GTS system. Alright, let's talk about the new look of the Boom GTS system here. This is made out of the Gorilla Glass, so it's just going to be the same on uh, pretty much almost all of the cell phones out there. So this is very, very nice and touch responsive, very quick, as you can see. The system has been upgraded by about 50% speed, so it is very fast moving through now. The grill glass is also scratch resistant. It's been treated, so it has uh, less reflection on it, which is gonna be really good on your very sunny days. You're still gonna be able to see the screen fully. And it is also glove friendly and water resistant. So if you get caught out in the rain, you're still gonna be able to use your full system. It's not gonna affect it at all. After the grill glass, just the entire cleanup look on this thing, I'm a really big fan of. So you've gotten rid of all of the bulky buttons that were on the sides here and now have been replaced, obviously, because it is all now touchscreen. So this is really nice. Once again, been made much, much quicker than the previous systems of old. As you can see here at the main home screen, you have your three main large icons here. This is going to be your music, navigation, and your phone. Then down below you have the smaller icons, which is going to be your star for saving your favorites. Headphones for connecting your headphone setup on, through your helmet. And over here is going to be your settings. I'm going to give you kind of a walkthrough of each one. We're going to kind of explore the system together, sh uh, show you certain options and things that can be done to it, because they really have done a nice job of upgrading this new Boom GTS system, and I think that it is worth going through and doing a nice tutorial on. So let's go ahead and start with the music icon here. You're going to touch that. That's going to bring up all of your preset radio stations now. So obviously you just, you just can go through, pick which station you want to listen to by hitting the buttons and you can set a whole bunch of these on here. You can go keep going and keep scrolling to uh, as many stations as you desire on here. And this is, uh, you know, once again, very, very fast, very connective. I really like the setup on this. Then you're going to be able to go in here and you're going to be able to select categories. So if you have, you know, for your standard radio, you can select your news, information, classic rocks, adult hits, and on down the line. You can have everything coming through here and you can just hit, if you so choose, you can just hit select all and then you will have everything at your disposal running through here. So now we'll go back and you can come up into here and this is going to give you your option to scan for your local settings and to do all of those things here to scan for different radio stations and it will just automatically pop them up through here and you can go through and set which ones you like and to set each one you're just going to push and hold your button down and it will save it as your number one on there. Also through here you're going to be able to go into your settings audio settings and you're going to be able to set up everything to your liking on here if you want more bass you can crank it up more treble you can crank it up it's going to give you the option of going through and choosing your speaker volumes so for your front speakers for your rear speakers you can also set your rider headset volume you can set your passenger headset volume so these are just really nice add-ons on here that, uh, you know, and then you can also set for your speed. So when, you know how when you come slowing down at a stoplight, it will turn your radio down. If you're uh, really hammering on it, it's going to turn your volume up while you're riding. Audio routing. This is going to be for how you want it to come through and what media you're using. So you can either go through your music and media that's coming straight through your speakers or to your helmet, your communications, your prompts, all of these. So you can set up everything to your liking and how you want your music delivered to you. Now we're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to go into the navigation system. Now the navigation system, they have done some very nice things and upgrades on the navigation system. One in particular is that you can now on this screen, just like on your phone, do the pinch and zoom. 
so you can really zoom into your destination that you want set now. I like this feature. I know I use it all the time on my cell phone when I'm traveling to where you can really get an in-depth look at all the streets, exactly where everything is, and location markers. And to set a location marker, you can just tap the screen. That's gonna set that route up for you. And go in here. It's now being calculated for you and you are good to go. And then you can go in. Please proceed to the highlighted route. So now it's brought you to that and you can zoom back out so you can see your starting point, where you're starting from and where you are heading. Also now with the navigation system, you are gonna be able to go in select different places that you want. You can search through these items on here. So you can go in for route preference. So if you want to get to the, f the fastest way there, this is going to show you that. You can go through the shortest. You can go through twisty. And you can go through scenic which is really nice so that way if you're out of town and you want to get the most scenic route possible to a destination if you're going to a restaurant if you're just going for a, a ride onto itself this is going to give you that and then it will show you the route and now once again kind of zoom back out and this is going to show you the most scenic route now obviously where i'm at not a whole lot of scenery but it gave me the best route possible to at least probably see some trees and maybe see some corn growing <laughs> This will also simulate your route. Please proceed to the highlighted route. You know, so it'll walk you through. All the voice command controls are going to tell you exactly the way to go. So once again, just nice setups on this navigation system here. You can set your alternative routes to different, to same, to off. Avoidance will alert you of all of your highway traffic, your toll roads, all those kind of things are going to be listed on here, which is very nice. And, and the GPS system is very up to date, obviously being a new system. So this really is going to give you the best traffic reports, all of that saying, hey, you do not want to go this way right now. And that's going to be a great setup on here. Also with your navigation system now, uh, if you are synced up through your cell phone, through Bluetooth on here, you can use your Harley Davidson app, has a bunch of preset destinations through the Harley Davidson app itself. I do not have my phone synced up to this, but I'm just giving the knowledge on it. So you can go in there and say, if you're traveling to Wisconsin and you want to hit some destination points that maybe Harley has pointed out on their app itself, that will instantly just be uh, taken into your navigation system and you can go in and save it in your favorites. And so when you're heading there, you're gonna be able to hit on that and it's gonna take you exactly Exactly on the route that you want to go. All right, we are going to go back to the home button now. Here is your phone. This is where you're going to be able to set up for your Bluetooth. Actually, we apparently have uh, someone's phone in here. I believe this is our shop managers. Maybe we should uh, just start making some fun texts and stuff. <laughs> we actually will not do that. But anyways, as you can see, this is already all hooked up. So all the contacts and information are in here. And this way you're going to be able, if you have your headset tuned with the bike as well, you're going to be able to go in and voice command saying call wife, call work, and it's just instantly going to sync you up and call through there, which is very nice. Going through your settings here, this is where you're going to be able to connect to the Bluetooth. We should actually probably shut that off so his uh, <laughs> phone is not in there still. Okay. So you can go through and then you can hit listed pair. And so now that phone is paired with the bike. So you could hit that and that's going to bring all of your, uh, of your information up on there. You can change different ringtones. You can select ringtones. So a bunch of different stuff and it will come through your speakers. So you can hear which different ones you want. They have an entire setup here of all different kinds of styles. I like the suspense. How about that?
This is where you're going to be able to go in and sync all the phone contacts. I'm not going to do that because it is not my phone, but this is where you'll be able to go to contacts on radio, contacts on phone, and sync all of your phone numbers. You are going to be able to get your text messages directly through this screen as well and you're going to be able to bring up a keypad so if you're stopped and you want to do hand dialing on here and call a phone you can do that. One of the nice things about the phone now as well is that you can now go ahead and sync your if you are an Apple owner, you can do Apple CarPlay on here, which will make your entire screen turn into your Apple iPhone. So for a lot of you who are used to using the Apple iPhone maps and accessories, this is really gonna help you out through here that if you don't wanna use this new setup, you're gonna completely be able to go through set it up and it's going to look just like your phone on here which is also nice now the one thing about that is you cannot do that through bluetooth you will have to plug that into the usb port to use apple carplay and you will also have to have a headset in order for apple carplay to work as well because it is going to be all voice activated now i'm going to take you down through and we're going to hit the favorite star and this is where you're going to be able to go in and select your favorites as far as your radio stations. And to do that, once again, you're just going to hit, push, and it's going to save there. And you can choose where you want it to go. So I want that to go to my tuner. You have it now set up. You're good to go. Once again, favorites is, has been a thing that's been just about on everything, so there's not a whole bunch to walk through on that. Now you know, you can go in there, select your favorites. You can do that with destinations, with music, with phone, with phone numbers, and that's going to take care of you on the favorites list. Now, this is where you're going to go to your different communications. So this is going to be for your headset. So you have CB and then your head comms. So once you're Bluetoothed in with your head comms, then you're going to be able to go ahead and sync everything up right into whatever device you're using for communications on your helmet. Now, Harley does recommend that you get the most updated headsets with these new radios because a lot of the firmware is not compatible with some of the older model headsets. So to get the full use out of your communications and voice activation, having the latest new headset is going to really help you out with all of that on this system. Now, we're going to go into the settings button here. This is where you're going to be able to go through and do a complete setup on how you want the system to be to your liking. So once again, this was also in the stereo, but you have all your audio settings. This is where you can change your volumes and how you want your level set. I did walk through that on the music setting. This is going to be for your display. So you can change your screen brightness. You know, I like to leaving it on automatic. This is going to adjust for your cloudy days, for your sunny days, different riding conditions, and this is really going to help you out. But if you didn't want to do it automatic, you want to blast it out, or you want to turn it way low, the, the option is there as well. But as I said, for me, my personal taste, I would just set it on the automatic and leave it as is. You can also change your button, uh, button brightness, which, you know, I like to see them. So, you know, turn it up just a little bit. That way it's going to make everything that you're touching on here a little bit brighter button-wise. Now, you can go in here and you can choose different colors now. So you can set them automatically. This is going to be for day. This will be colors for night. I like to leave that automatic and then you can go in here and you can do theme colors and they've set you up with I believe like five different colors so you can hit orange now your everything on your display will have this nice little orange hint behind it blue green red and purple I personally am a fan of the orange. I think that looks nice, so I'm going to leave it set on orange. We'll go back. And so now all of that is set up that way. High contrast colors is really going to kind of blast out your screen a little bit, you know, make it make it very very bright if you will. Whoops, I went back. So, that's just going to really kind of blast out the screen. I'll be honest, not really necessarily a fan of that, so we'll, uh, we'll go back to just our standard theme colors and undo the high contrast colors. Okay, 
global preferences or presets is going to go ahead you have that enabled and that's going to just with your navigation system that's going to set up everything already loaded so no matter what state you're in the GPS is going to recognize it and it's going to take you through and give you uh, all everything that Google has plotted and and GPS is available will now be put through here worldwide you can choose full keyboard large keyboard which will make your buttons bigger this is going to be where you're going to set up your Bluetooth. So this will set up your listed pairs, your ringtones. I kind of already touched on this through the phone part of the application. So you already kind of had that walkthrough, so we don't need to really retouch on that. You have your clock set up. This is where you can go in and do that. You can automatically have it set up through GPS and your time zone automatic. So this is going to be perfect. You really don't have to mess with anything on that unless you want to. System information. This is going to make sure that you are up to date with the latest software, your hardware, everything, you know. So now this will show you everything is going to be up to date on here. Language and your projection. Now projection on is for your Apple CarPlay. So when you do plug in your iPhone into here and you're set up through the headset by having the projection on, that is what's going to turn your screen into your iPhone screen here. So if you're not using that, you can just turn it off. It affects nothing else on the system other than for your Apple CarPlay. All right. So now we've kind of taken a walk through of the standard home buttons and we've gone through that. This button here is going to take you back to your audio settings. So we've already been there, but I just wanted to show you that that's what that button is. This button here is going to be for your information. So now your information screen here is going to have, you know, your miles per hour. This is going to be your how much miles in, and time ridden on the bike. This is going to be to your destination. So if you're riding to a destination, this is going to show how far you have to let go, how much time you have left, and how many yards left to the destination. Scrolling through here, this is going to give you your engine information. So if you're check oil, if you're getting low on oil, this is obviously going to alert you here. And this is nice where they added in the distance since your last service. So this way you're going to be able to keep track of your thousand mile service, your 5,000 mile service and on so. So that's a nice thing on here. You're going to be able to see exactly how many miles you have ridden since your bike was last serviced. And here, this is going to be your trip summary. So your average speed, how many miles you've traveled, average miles per hour, fuel used, and how many times you have stopped to uh, during your trip for either gas or how many breaks you're taking. It's going to calculate it all and save it. And you're going to be able to use this also. You can save this into your phone through the Harley app. So you can save these trips so you can see your overall fuel economy and how everything runs through that. So now we've come back to the home screen. So, and this here is just to pretty much mute your system, to shut it off on this. So, but now, I mean, we've kind of just taken the basic walkthrough of here. The main thing that Harley's done with this, besides adding the CarPlay and making it, you know, much nicer to look at, is how user-friendly it is. They really have simplified the system. They've really given you just very easy touch and ready to go with everything set up on here and how fast and responsive it is now is night and day difference between the older systems. So as I said, I kind of hope that you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I just felt that given a little bit of a tutorial on here so you could see all the breakdowns and how everything works and a few of the nice add-ons that have been on here. You know, uh, just giving you some information and showing you the new system. So I do hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough. And as always, from the entire Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson family, thank you so much for checking out our videos. And always remember, gear up and ride safe. Thanks a lot.